Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for coming back to my channel and checking out this video. And uh, I'll apologize right up front. I know it's been probably more than a couple weeks since I've done a video and summer's just getting crazy. I think the main culprit is that real estate photography has really picked up the spring market, finally kind of hit late. So I've been quite busy doing a lot of real estate work. I just did um, something for a custom home builder, a great lakefront property I did there. Um, and so it's been kind of challenging to get out in the streets and record videos and things like that. So let me apologize for that, but I have an exciting topic that I've kind of wanted to cover for a while actually. And we're gonna, going to look at the work of one for photographer in particular when it comes to this. But um, I, one of the things I love about street photography is the opportunity to use humor and to produce humorous photographs. And I don't think there's a lot of genres where you can do that. You know, I obviously, if, if you're shooting wildlife, there's the opportunity to photograph baby bears playing or wrestling or whatever, and that's cutesy and whatever's furry and fuzzy and, and all that. And that can be humorous. Um, otherwise, you know, you could set up some humorous shots, things like that, maybe portrait stuff in the studio or whatever. But one of the things I like about the street is is when I find humorous things, not just, you know, there's there's the typical humorous things where it's just like somebody's wearing a funny costume and it's just kind of, it's just kind of there and it presents itself as that person is dressed funny or whatever. So there's that type of humor, which is funny, um, but I kind of like the, I like humor when you've got stuff that's not, you know, when you have like contrast or juxtaposition where, you see one thing that shouldn't be in in this area or this person's dressed a certain way in a way that doesn't fit their environment or or whatever and so i kind of like like when things play off of each other and you see humor on the streets there but you can find humor on the streets in a lot of different areas and doesn't necessarily even have to have people in them and i love looking for it i have i have a couple shots that were in my last book uh, volume two that I thought were quite humorous and put those in there. Um, and so I'm always uh, kind of, you know, as a street photographer, you're, you're always kind of keeping your eye out for things that are different, things that are unique, things that are interesting. And you can surely make it that way by choosing different angles and things like that. But it's always nice to keep your eye out on things that, that could be funny, could be humorous. Um, it's one of the joys, I think, of being a street photographer because you can document very serious stuff. If there's an accident or, you know, you never really want to exploit homeless people, but the idea of, um, you know, some very serious topics. So you can have that, you can have that side of street photography. On the flip side, you can have something that's very humorous and makes people laugh. And that's one of the things, the variety of subject matter I've talked about in some of my other videos. Um, is one of the great things about for street, street photography. But I want to look at and go through, um, not a ton, but I want to go through some of the pictures of Vivian Mayer, who I've, uh, I know I did a book review for her self-portrait book. I have a, um, a book that doesn't get a lot of attention probably. It's a really big book of her color work. And I want to take a look at some of her humor. So we will go to the desktop here in a minute. But one of the things, you know, Vivian had a long, a fairly long, shooting career, let's put it that way. Uh, a number of decades where she was, was using different cameras. She went black and white, then she went to color like in the 70s and even I think a little bit in the 80s. And as, as you, you know, her, as her style, as she shot more, she discovered and, and did more humor, I think. Or, you know, maybe, maybe she always discovered it, but maybe didn't photograph it, or maybe it just wasn't there, or didn't present itself or whatever. But one of the things I love about Vivian is her humor, both in her self portraits and just in her normal, like everyday street photography that she would do. Um, and you know, there's some of my other photographers, like I mentioned Saul Leiter and Ernst Haas, you know, once in a great while, you'll get some humor out of them, but you know, they're, they're definitely more on the composition, lighting, you know, beautiful kind of stuff. And Vivian was more of the documentary kind of side of street photography. And so, um, if you know some of her backstory, you know, as her as a nanny um, taking care of kids and uh, especially in the suburbs of Chicago. So to always have kids there as well. I mean, kids are obviously subject matter that lends itself to being really humorous. So 
Um, that subject matter was, was there, obviously, if you've got kids. So um, let's take a look at some of her work, go through it. I'll tell you what, what I find humorous about. Some of them will probably just hit you over the head. Obviously, this is humorous, but I just let's take a look at some of Vivian's work, talk about why they're humorous, talk about humor in general in street photography, because I think it's something that's uh, one of the great things, one of the positive things about being a street photographer. So let's head over. Okay, let's go through a Baker's dozen here of Vivian Myers, Mayers, sorry, excuse me, Vivian Mayers, uh, some of her humor photos. And this is a pretty obvious one here that, you know, you can find today. Just look for some sort of graffiti or people writing on stuff. I don't know if you see it as often today, actually. I guess it depends on the city, but this is just funny. You know, you just wonder who wrote it and who's it being written to, maybe it's to everybody to make them think, I don't know, but kind of funny. Um, the next shot here is um, just funny because not only is the lady got like this grumpy look on and she's looking, she's in this weird position where she's tying her shoe and then, you know, Vivian puts herself in the shot and it's just, um, just the look on the other lady is, is hilarious. This is neat. This would probably be hard to get, actually. The cat probably came out wanting to get out and saw Vivian. You can see her reflection here. And just having that, you know, cat trying to bite down on the window. This is hilarious. It's it's simple. Again, it's the simple things in life that can be beautiful, tragic, and yet also funny. Just the red coat and just sitting on this red fire hydrant. And, just <laughs> you know, it's just one of those shots that just... uh but it's also pleasing in the sense that, you know, you've got the red and the red and she's got the bag on each side and there's some symmetry there. It's, um, but still just a funny shot. This is neat. I'm imagining that this is one of the kids that she probably was looking o looking after as a nanny. Um, you know, just laying face planning on this sewer grate so he could look in it. I do like the, the, um, I don't know, Vivian dressed the child, but the matching sweater and the shoes. Uh, with the blue and the red and the white this was great just the, <laughs> this shoe up in the air this leg again i'm picturing this is one of the children that she was um in charge of uh she would often just take them you know around town or whatever and probably was leaning over and and um and fell over here but just that leg position it's great this i find funny it's not like super funny but i like the contrast again you have you know these firearms this kind of tough guy mentality and then the child sucking on his thumb like just the contrast of that is funny again simple but funny you know hole in the pocket you see the wrench sticking out you don't see that every day um and vivian liked she liked like i don't want to i guess sneaking up on people shooting the backs of them and um this was kind of this here I'm, I'm kind of wondering how she took that how she knew this person was going to disappear into these hedges or whatever but that's funny this is great because what's funny about it is that she's smiling she knows you can tell by the the workers head that he's looking up and has spotted her but if you look at Vivian's self-portraits and I have a book I have a review of her book of self-portraits she's she's really I don't think she's ever smiled she's just always very um very somber very straight face and to see her smiling this to me is what makes that so funny this is humorous just because of the obviously the, the repetition the, again not what you expect to see here's all these cans of peaches and then here's these shoes breaking up this this row of peaches. Um, you know, is it an actual person there? Um, because they're obviously would be have their nose right up against this sheet or this canopy or whatever's coming down. So um, just makes you think a bit too. You know, sometimes humor can make you think to how did that happen? What's happening to that person? Things like that. This I love because again, Vivian sneaking up on someone they don't know um that she's there but the fact that you have her hat there is great because if she wasn't in there i don't know i mean it would be an okay shot because you have the the curlers and there's some symmetry here but by vivian putting her shadow in there it to me it just makes it really funny again simple but again putting herself in there 
Um, not that that's what makes it funny, like this one per se, but just the idea of being that close to this guy's butt, this worker, cement worker, the drywall, the mud, or whatever, is just um, is just funny. So there's some of Vivian's humor, um, you know, really developed later on, but it, it's a nice sort of variety and mix of different kinds of humor, um, putting herself in some of the shots. Um, you don't see a lot of people's faces, a lot of backsides. There's some contrast here, the juxtaposition. Kids are a great subject matter, obviously, for uh, for humor. So it's one of the great things about street photography um, is to be able to look for the unusual, look for humorous stuff. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Check out my links. Uh, hope to see you on the streets soon. Keep taking pictures and shooting. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.